Maya Rahal from WAMDA. We're speaking to Michelle Thorne from Mozilla. Hi, Michelle. Hi, nice to meet you. How are you enjoying Share Beirut? It's a great conference. Um, I love the topics of, of internet activism, meeting things like music and remix. Um, and it's a great city to, to do it in. So they're doing a great job. We'd like to discuss about the, f the philosophy of uh, Mozilla. Tell us a bit how it, it answers to the people and there are no shareholders. So Mozilla is a, it's a foundation, it's a nonprofit that um, puts the users first. We don't have any shareholders. We build a browsers and products that are beholden to the people using them, not to anyone else. So all the things that we try to do, all the features, all the new products, put the user in the center. Uh, we heard that your latest program, Webmaker, uh, is having a lot of buzz around. Tell us a bit about it. So um, Mozilla is working on a new initiative called Webmaker, where we're trying to build on the success of Firefox, which has 450 million users around the world, and saying it's not only about using the web, but also understanding how the web is made, so people can move from consuming it to making it. Um, and we have a lot of initiatives where we're promoting this idea of web literacy, where we see knowing a little bit of code and a little bit about how the web works and is structured is just as important as reading, writing, and arithmetic. And not everyone has to go on and be a programmer, just like not everyone has to be a professional author. But at least you know a little bit about it so that you're empowered and you know how to determine your own online destiny, basically. So you're going to teach people how to hack? Yes. <laughs> hack the web. Uh, a little bird also told us that an, a mobile application is going to be um, released by Mozilla. Tell us a bit about it. Yes, so Mozilla is currently working on a, um, a mobile platform, a mobile operating system called Firefox OS, and it is all web-based. It runs on HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. We're working with a few partners to launch it first in Brazil and then elsewhere. The code's available now online. Uh, you can fork it from GitHub and play with it yourself, so you can do it now in Lebanon at this moment. Um, and devices are going to be rolled out at different times, but we're really excited about hackable phones. Um, we see this the, extending this idea about your phone working for you, it being hackable, you being able to customize it. It's like a natural extension of, of our mission and of our beliefs. And elsewhere, as being the MENA, is it anytime soon? <laughs> Inshallah. <laughs> Let's hope for that. Thank you for chatting with WAMDA. Thanks so much for having me. Best of luck. Thank you.